morning guys it's jen i'm back again and i want to show you my breakfast okay so i'm not drinking this entire thing half is for me half is for joe um, but it's our smoothie prep and what we have in here is pineapple carrot strawberry and some beet and that's all oh an orange an orange so it's a five ingredient smoothie meal prep and that's pretty much it we also, we also prepped um, green smoothies. So in here we have green grapes, cucumber, apple, kale, and spinach. So this is also five ingredient smoothie prep. I'm practicing for um, a service that I want to start offering, which is like in-home meal preparation. Uh, one thing that I have an issue with so far is the bags. They're very hard to get your frozen fruit and stuff out of. So I'm going to have to either get bigger bags I just rethink the bag situation altogether. But other than that, it's been working out. This is day two of it. We did these yesterday, and now we're doing these today. So five <laughs> minutes, y'all, and ready to drink smoothies. One bag makes half of a um, batch of smoothie, and then this bag makes a full pitcher of smoothie. So if you use two bags, full pitcher, like what I have over there, and then if you use one bag, half a pitcher. And that's pretty much it. Good morning, guys. It's Jen. And I'm back again. And I'm really, really sick still. I don't really know what happened to me. Um, it started off with just being stomach cramps and just like a bad day. And now it's just full out sickness. I was sneezing a lot yesterday. Just said it might be because of um, the spray on deodorant that I used. I sprayed it, but I accidentally sprayed it in the air, and he said he thinks that might be what caused me to be sick, but that was yesterday, and now today I'm still sick. Um, but like I said, we're doing um, grooms and boxes for Joe. I don't know if y'all remember that rant a while ago when I was talking about how he last minute was stuff. Um, but we're getting his boxes from Michael's today. Um, and we're going to do his shirts today or tonight when he gets home. Um, and we're going to do invitations today. And that's pretty much it for this vlog. I really need to get these save the dates sent out. So I'm going to Michael's looking for like one of those cutter things that will cut your paper back and forth. And then, um, I'm going to Michael's for the boxes for his guys and then I think a 2x shirt because that's he's missing one shirt he went to foot action to get all of the shirts and then there was one 2x that was missing so I gotta get one 2x and um that's it and that's pretty much my day so hang out with me guys and um that's pretty much it I'm so not feeling it but Positivity is key, so I am feeling it. I'm feeling it here. I'm not feeling it here, but I'm feeling it here. So, oh, and I also might go get some weave because I want to do my hair. So we may do that today as well, depending if I can find the store. All right, so we are in Michaels, and there's actually a deal going on right now with the boxes, five for ten, and then one box is two dollars so i'm getting seven um black boxes the girls have white boxes and the guys have black boxes which is a very good deal because i found the girls boxes for 199 and now the guys boxes are um two dollars so yeah we made out for about the same price so even though joe is last minute michael still has really good deals all right y'all so i'm wrapping up in michael's um this is so well i also got some black paper because i'm going to make um these bottles into like a suit and tie like that so i'm going to turn the bottles into that so that's why i got the black paper i have some white paper at home and some burgundy paper for like their ties and stuff um and then i'm going to spray paint this rose gold because i still have some rose gold spray paint so that's what these are going to look like. And inside of them, we're going to put cigars for the guys um, to go inside of their boxes. 
So I don't think any of the guys watch the vlogs. So they really won't. They really won't know anything. But um, yeah. So that's what I got, and I'm out of here, y'all. Cause homegirl starting to rack up, and I do not want to spend over 30. So right now, I think I'm like right at 28. So we're gonna leave, and I'm gonna look for a coupon, and we're gonna get up out the store and go home. I'm back in the house and I bet you guys were like when am I gonna see Jennifer in this vlog yes you get to see me um, I'm feeling a lot better <clears throat> now uh, my throat still kind of hurts but other than that I'm fine um I'm about to eat lunch um I've been working on meal prepping so right now I'm, I'm gonna eat for lunch the cauliflower buffalo lettuce wraps that I meal prepped last night which you guys saw in that vlog um, but I'm going to have that for lunch, um, along with my cashew sour cream. So watch that video. If you want to learn how to make what it is that I'm eating for lunch, I'm going to have that. And today's going to be DIY day along with cleanup day because our table's a mess. I want to clean like this little area right here, um, and stuff like that. So it's going to be like a little clean day, um, and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I guess I'll be back later. Oh, well, let me wait. First, I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. Okay, so if you saw in my last video, um, this is what they look like when they're refrigerated. So, the way that you reheat these to eat them again and have all of the yumminess is you preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Um, once your oven is preheated, you bake these bad boys for 20 minutes. And then you add a little bit of sauce halfway through. Um, and then they'll be good as new, crispy, yummy, all that good stuff. And cut up your lettuce wraps and have it with your ranch. Joe's having this for lunch too, so we're kind of twinning from far away. But yeah, it looks good. They kind of shrivel up, but they'll get crispy in the oven. <clears throat> Alright y'all, so I done ate lunch already. I'm trying to do these invitations. I've cut out individual squares um, of foil like this. These are two little squares. But I've cut out individual fair squares of foil and I've been foiling my invitations. But I do not like them. I think that they look horrible. <laughs> um, the rose gold does show up, but it shows up um oh well it looks better looks way better here but close up you see how it's kind of like even right there at the end that didn't even foil you see so i think the printer that i went to may have just been weak so I'm going to try and um, get these printed out on the back. I'm going to reuse this and um, get, get the invitations printed out on the back. And then for this side that looks all ugly, what I'll probably do is, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I could get it printed out on the front and back. What do you guys think I should do? To me, it looks bad. But I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing now. I'll have to figure that out. <sighs> I'm upset a little. That was Joe that just called me. I was talking to him about um, like how disappointed I am in the invitation. So he said the same thing. Basically, like I was saying, it might be the place that we went to. Because we went to Staples to get this done. But foil that I tested to see if it worked I did at UPS which I don't like UPS because they they kind of carried me on a package I was delivering um an order to one of my friends in Florida hey Alicia hey girl um she had ordered some cookies and cookies expire like it's it's food so um when I told the guy he said okay it'll be there by Tuesday I said okay great so that'll be like four days that they travel and then she'll have them for like two weeks. Perfect. So, um, 
the doggone thing took two weeks to even get to her. And luckily, the cookies, she said the cookies were still good. But um, I, I was just upset. Like, gosh, it, it things like that you just don't want to happen, especially with your business. And you just it feels unprofessional, and then there's nothing really you could do. So um, that's another bit. I, I just don't want to go to UPS. But they're the only place that has the right freaking laser ink because it foils properly. See, now look. I'm going to show you all. This is the foiling. You see, like, even the letters are foiled. Yeah, even the letters are foiled. <clears throat> and then you see up here how it's perfectly... Well, it's not perfectly foiled because I use, like, leftover. But the foiling is much better on here than how it's all um, crickly crackly up here. And I feel like part of that also has to do with um, the ink and the thickness of the paper because this paper is pretty thick cardstock. I didn't want to get a cheap look and save the dates, but I'm about to cry. No, I'm not. I'm about to persevere is what I'm about to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get more burgundy paper because it's not a lot of money. I mean, in terms of how much other people, how much you would pay, excuse me, how much you would pay for your save the dates. Like $5 for another pack of burgundy paper is not that bad. So I'm just going to go get some more burgundy paper um, and then print it off again, but print it off at the right spot and only print one sheet. And then after I print that one sheet, then see how it does. So that's it. I've eaten all of the candy canes off the Christmas tree. This is the very last one. Christmas tree is completely naked. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey y'all. Okay, so I'm working on the project that I told you I was doing for Joe and his Grimson. So I have my Cricut at first. I started off by just, um, I was going to decorate this stuff and cut it out on my own. But I'm like, I got these machines. I might as well use them. So what I did was I cut out, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's kind of like a rose gold tie tuxedo thing. So I cut that out and I'm going to make like a white shirt background and then like kind of make the sleeves a little, um, leave the sleeves for some black. So you'll see. Um, when I'm completely done with it. I think that they'll come out nicely. And Joe's going to like them either way. He likes anything that I do. So he's going to like them either way. I'm really excited um, to get started on them. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright y'all. So I finally got one of the tubes done. This is what it's going to look like. Um, it's just the rose gold tux thing. And I don't like the back of that. I think I'm going to use a glue gun right now it's tape and from the inside which it really don't matter because it's just the guards and I don't think the guys really care about that but you see how the inside the tape is showing I don't like that tape showing in there so I'm going to try and figure out a different way how to do it I might just use my glue gun but this is what they're all going to look like when I'm finished uh, this one's a little bit crooked but um yeah that's pretty much it. These are going to be for the guys. Little box. Grimson box. I think they came out rather cute. Just for a little cigar to go in there. Mm. Alright guys. So we are about to get started on dinner. Um, we're having the same thing that we've been having. The cauliflower. Because that counts as six meals. So we had two meals yesterday for dinner then two meals today for lunch and then we're gonna have two meals today for dinner but I'm gonna make a side to go with them of roasted root vegetables so I'm going to show you guys what's gonna go inside of there and then um, what herbs and stuff I'm gonna put with it and then we'll get it cooking and um, you guys will see how they come out <laughs> okay so right here I have one large sweet potato um, I have three beets, which I don't think I'm going to use all three beets. I think I'm only going to use um, two, so I'll probably use these two, which are the largest. So I might as well use that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use all three of these beets. Um, set six carrots, 
And then I had some cauliflower because I used a head and a half of cauliflower um, for the meal prep. So I have some leftover cauliflower. So I'm going to roast this too. Um, probably like a quarter of a head or maybe this whole thing. We'll see. Um, but that's these are the root veggies that I have um, going inside of here. Alright, so here is all of the veggies prepped up. We have two beets right here. Um, three, six carrots, one sweet potato, and then um, a half a head of cauliflower. I decided to save this because I want to make some red velvet cupcakes. Um, so that's what this is being saved for. Um, so yeah, that's all of my veggies. And I'll be back when it's time for me to um, roast them. Okay, y'all, you can definitely see the difference between fresh and frozen herbs um over here these are some herbs that i've had frozen for about a month or so um we got some sage right here um here's some rosemary and then some sprigs of thyme down here and then we have the fresh green stuff um some curly parsley and then some fresh dill so i'm going to chop that up with some oil and vinegar um i said oil and vinegar i'm going to chop this up Add some olive oil and some salt to these veggies and then they're going to go in the oven with all these yummy, yummy herbs. Alright, here go the veggies ready to go in. Um, they're going to be roasting at 400 degrees. I went on ahead and upped the temperature. I'm going to roast them at 400 for 25 minutes. And then um, I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup or agave onto the top of them and let them go for a little bit longer but there they go i'm also going to put the um cauliflower buffalo wings in too it's funny that our side is going to be our entree like we're having cauliflower for dinner but we're having cauliflower as a side too so that's funny all right so these is what um they look like fresh out i gave them a quick little stir though they look good uh, yeah they're looking they're looking good but i'm gonna let them go a little bit longer i want for my stuff have a little crunch to it you know to be soft i want for these sweet potatoes to be nice and tender what a crunchy berry so the cauliflower will um will get a little bit softer than everything else, but That's right. you look good. I don't really mind that. Yeah, so now I stir it up and back into the oven it goes. Alright, that is Din Din. There's the roasted root veggies. And then there is the cauliflower buffalo wings. There's my plate. I made these veggies kind of based on what we had, um, or what I had at lunch the other day, or yesterday in that bowl. <laughs> that literally was yesterday. But yeah. There's my dinner.